Today we're going to be doing a review on this microscope that the company Vivor sent to me. They contacted me, asked me if I'd do a review. I said I would. I'd give an honest and sincere review. They sent it to me for free. I did not pay for it. Let's take a look at it and I'll give you my opinion. That wasn't too bad. This is Vivor's binocular microscope. Now you may ask yourself, what does a person need a microscope in his shop for? Well, if you're a jeweler or stone setter, people like that, they use them all the time. But in knife making, scrimshaw, carving, engraving, wire and lay, those are just some of the things. Personally, I'd like to use it for wire and lay and engraving. Of course, I don't know anything about engraving, but what I've seen, and I've got some learning to do, so I'll be taking some classes, but it's something I want to do. But you need to be able to see what you're doing, and if you're like me, you've got about 10 pairs of these laying around, you've got optivisors, and it's still not enough. The older you get, the worse it gets, trust me. So let's go over a couple of features. First thing I had to do was build a mount for it. Now it comes with some wood screws or some bolts to mount it to a metal table. I just made a little bracket here and mounted it with wood screws. Works perfect. And I can swivel it around, position it where I need to position it, and then I'm ready to go. The arm will adjust back and forth, up and down, and these handles will let you set those positions. It also has this little gimbal holder here where you can tighten it up, kind of rotate it where you need it. Once you get it where you need it, you can tighten it up. This is the headrest. You can adjust it back and forth, up and down. It's not something that I'll probably keep on there, but if you need it, it's there. 
the lens that I screwed on is an adjustment lens. I think it's called a Barlow lens. And what that does is allow you to raise the microscope up to get a taller workpiece under. You'll lose a little magnification, but the, the loss is not hardly noticeable. Here, looking at this coin, this is a penny, of course. This is on like the lowest magnification. It goes from like seven up to 45 times magnification. It's very clear and crisp. Now, being it's a binocular microscope, you can't really video through it like you can a trinocular where you can mount a camera in one of the lenses. This microscope is two lenses. So you've got an adjustment for your focus, which is right here. This here is your diopter adjusting rings, I think you're called. And you can adjust these at the zero mark, which is a white line you see around the lens there. Helps to adjust the magnification to your eyes, and you can do that individually. And you can also rotate the lens to fit your eyes. The instructions seem kind of vague. There's not a whole lot of instruction there, but it's not rocket science. Uh, you can see I put it together fairly quickly. Now, before you mount your base to whatever you're putting it on, make sure you turn it over and tighten up the screws that hold the column in. Make sure they're tight. Mine were loose. During shipping, that happened. So I tighten them up, mount the base in the column, and then slide the arm on. You want to make sure you go and tighten up all these cap screws because during shipping, a couple of them fell off, bolt came out, but that's kind of to be expected. It's packed pretty well with hard foam, so I didn't see any damage, but just the shaking and rattling of shipping and some of these cap screws came off. And you can always replace these nuts with some nylock, something like that, if you're worried about them coming off. But I'll see how that goes from here on out. Now, from just playing around with it a little bit and what you could see through my camera lens, and that's really a poor shot. I'm pretty impressed with the clarity, the focus, the ease of focus. I don't have any issues with that. Now, I don't have any experience with jewelers and engraving microscopes but I have looked through a high dollar one before. And I can say that looking through this, the clarity looks very nice. And from what I've read, that seems to be the general consensus, but that'll be for you to decide. And from my point of view, I like it. The construction is well done. There's nylon washers in the pivot points, strong springs, you can set it where you want it. It easily pivots smoothly. You lock it in place and you're good to go. I can't wait to put it to use and try it out. Now, what's most impressive about this microscope is the price. For the lens quality and the build, you just can't beat that. A quality microscope will run $1,000 minimum, at least from what I've seen. And for the price, you're looking at around $300 or so, man, that is hard to beat. And for someone on a tight budget that struggles to have nice tools or nicer tools to do their job, this is a game changer for me. So if you'd like to purchase one, I'll put an affiliate link down in the description. Now I'm gonna try it out and I'll post some updates later on of what I've experienced with it and if is there anything changes with it. But right now I'm pretty impressed. So I hope you got something out of this. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching.